is a beautiful creative um, activity that we all have been doing and all of you who are here with us today have been doing mandala some way or the other but i'm sure every time you pick up the paper and pen you just create something new totally different and interesting and today we are going to do something like that again simple mandala also anyone here in the lounge or in the class who is totally new don't feel um, inhibited that you are not an artist just don't bother you just have to have that paper and pen and just let your imaginations flow this helps you to attain a lot of peace they also say it's a therapy in its own because it is very very de-stressing uh, lets you just If you're sitting alone, you're feeling low in the mood, or you're feeling um, down because of something that unpleasant has happened with you, just don't sit brooding in one corner. Pick up a paper and pen and just create your mandalas and see how brightened you feel. Okay. So uh, you just need the paper and pen because we are all learning, and I always use the recycled paper as I keep showing and keep telling you people there are so much of material that keep coming into the house. so you just use one of those papers unless you really want to you know that you have excel and you want to make it as a gift item or something then you can use a canvas or you can use pick up paper you get nice hard bound paper you can do it on a paper with proper pens i'll show you what kind of pens are used for mandala and you can do that somebody asked me last month in my class that i will do it on canvas i think canvas was for dot mandala on paper also you can do dot mandala but you need you don't need canvas to make the uh, mandala with these uh, geometric design okay so i shall uh, stop sharing the screen before uh, one minute i think i'll show you so today uh, we will not do the dot mandala we will use only the paper and pen but yes i'm going to show you some uh, background coloring with uh, crayons or wax color pencil colors we have and then on back on top of that you can do that or if you have color pens you can use the color pens or after you have created your mandala you can color them so that becomes a little of a duplication but it really highlights your pattern so let's look at what we can do what i'm going to show you this is the kind of mandala you can start with a circle as i have always said you have to uh yeah begin by drawing a circle at the center of the middle uh, of the page and then you just go on the outer side and it's nice to have your horizontal and vertical lines divided into 16 or 32 parts and then five to seven circles so that you can go uh, take your design from the center to the outer side okay so this is how sorry what did i do yeah so you can once you so now here you may see that there there are no lines that is because the lines were drawn earlier you will see at the background there is a light impression of the circle and the lines that has to be erased once you ink out your work so when you are doing the circle and the lines please use a pencil because that has to be erased afterwards your design your patterns will be made created out of the uh, by the ink the pens i'm going to show you what kind of pens that we use i'll also show you another pattern this is half a circle so you can start this is your paper instead of making a big circle in the center you can start either from the corner or you can side start from half a page okay you can your, your circle comes in half a page and you can then extend it on the outer side all right So let's. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing this now and focus on my other uh, camera, other device. Monica, can you please focus on this? So let me just show you what are the pens that we use. Uh, these are the special pens for uh, the mic. The gel because they are also called fine line pens these are color pens i have some of these color pens today i can show some, some use of this but as i said you don't necessarily have to just spend money for that unless you already have something with you okay 
I'm also I also use a proper fountain pen, black pen. So I prefer to use whatever is available. So these are pens that can be used. These are fine line rubber castle. This is then you have this is something I found very very recently, and I found it was cheap as well as it was. It's a uh, it is backer. B B O B A O K E R Boker. I don't know what make it is, but I like it. And this is normally the common one that you see. It uh, this is a point zero eight pen, and uh, these are the common. Uh, you can get them as doodling pens or um, ink gel pens, fine line pens. These are also some colors that I have. I had six of them. I don't know where are the others, but yeah, you can use these. Uh, yeah, I have a little pouch for all my pen, and then I use normal pen that we actually use for our for writing. Okay, so any of these pens can be used. What I'm going to show you today is we are going to do freehand. Now, when I said freehand. Uh, We'll just, I think if we are going to make a full circle, you'll need something to make a big circle. You can use a plate. Um, so this was the dot mandala I made last time. So you can use something like that. If you already have, place it and then make an outline and that becomes your uh, circle. So you don't have to really have a rounder or make a circle okay so here it is then you can make an inner circle from this just place maybe whatever available things that you have in your and be in your house slightly here and there is okay because you don't have exactly something that you can look at okay now you want to make an inner circle you can use this way You can play the music, Monica. You have yeah, some sure. music, yeah. So this also you can do. And if you still want something smaller than this or smaller than this, just use another small article, which will. Okay. So I give you just. A way to do, and then you can use your uh, ruler or pen, uh, anything to make a fine line. See, I told you we will have to erase this, so I'm going to use the pencil. This gives you some uh, because we used a free hand, it's not exactly accurate. You can see the center, the circle has come a little off, it's okay. And then you can just take halves of this and make your lines further to make further divisions. These are the easier methods of getting your center position. And then furthermore, when you have made, just make marks on the halves of these and you get Good, we call it a grid line. So these are the grid lines you will get. Make your design. Make sure you're not missing out the center point. And then on the paper, when you are making your design, also it's good to turn the paper so that your hand is you're not in an uncomfortable position when you are shifting your. This is for those who don't have colors and you want to make a mandala with just black and white. Okay. Since I said I'm going to show you something in the colorful background, I will just try that also after I show you this. So my grid is ready now. If you see, my grid is ready. This, is, you know, here you see this gap is more. So if you think you need to have and you don't have something to make. Round. So just make mark 
the line here, the center position, middle middle of this line that you have, and lightly just try to see if you can keep moving your paper and have. So basically, these lines that you're making are just a guide for you to move your pattern and your design in a symmetrical manner. So this is a wonderful grid that you have ready and you can start from the center and make your design and let it go and so much so that when you come towards the outer circle now see my outer circle is not very um, uh, fine so i can just you know make these little swirls on the outer side or decide what design now this also see automatically because the bottle cap had ridges here so when I used it, I got some ridges. So I'm going to use this like a design pattern. It automatically gives me a pattern. And then I decide what I want to do on the inner line. See how I'm getting the pattern. Okay. So there is no right and wrong when you're doing mandalas. It has to just come out of your own imagination. And now the center has become a little off so I'm just starting my center I make a little round here and I can actually go round I'm not following the lines identically because they were not, the center has become off center so I'm covering and closing in now in this portion I can make some design that I feel like in this portion I can make some design that I and then I go on to the side okay now this is what i told you that this was for the uh, for the one which we are making with a circle okay now if you are not making the whole circle you can actually make this half a circle okay you can decide now this is your ruler and or whatever you uh, other paper so you just mark it here it's about the 17 inches if I have taken here, I think this is my center position. So I can just do a or you can you have a dish at home, you just use a, a dish and make that circle and a smaller dish and a smaller dish that is what you can. Now if this is my I use this paper to a uh, ruler to show you the center point. So this is my center point, okay? Now here I can use, now I do have rounded and I also have the uh, protect, but I'm showing this to you because not everybody I think will have, may have a rounder. That's why I was not using it. If you have a rounder, you would have just made your circle like this, okay? Now here what you can do is you can use something like this half because since we talked about half a circle, just keep it a little lower and you have your designs can take place. If you have a pit, a dish, you can just keep it halfway through and just make your outer line. Okay. I'm doing a free hand here. Now my this portion became more because you will realize that my outer circle was freehand, so it's not totally round, it's a little tapering, and that's why this gap is more, but that's okay. I'm going to use this as my guide for my design, and I'm making a line here and making a line here so that this gives me and a line here. I mean center point here I'm taking so that when I move out to the outer side this is like my grid line remember what we did for that circle the same thing is happening here you are using this half of it yeah so this was the second one I was showing you so basically I said I'll show you something with colors so if you have crayons or if you have um 
could use the water color and acrylic color okay but if you have these kind of wax color you can just give a little base to that you can mix the colors you don't necessarily have to have you can with like a little shading mix two colors because this will just actually highlight i'm going to remove this pen because i think leave an impression on my coloring my wax paper pen was coming in the way okay wait here no okay now i might want to use uh, yet another shade of probably a blue and this creating a base giving this a little i like to this one okay and uh, what do i use probably an orange color okay Somewhere it's dark, somewhere it's light. It's just giving up an effect of for the background. Now, see, when I'm doing this, and my hand is moving in one direction, I can't be doing this and this. Then it looks shabby. So, when you're using wax colors, let the hand move in one direction, and I'm just spreading it in between also for a spray effect. Now, if I do my design, my mandala on this, what we, what I showed you down here, the background will highlight. So this you can do if you don't have. If I'm starting now from the center, okay. Remember, I said these lines and pencil will have to be erased afterwards, so you don't ink them. Now, I didn't want to ink all the circles, semicircular lines, because I don't necessarily want that those lines to be in that shape. That is just going to be used by me as a guide to make my design. So I had, remember, I had made this pencil line, so I'm using this line. Can you see my paper? Can you see the work? And keep moving the paper as you go. So now here you're using the paper is colored, but your work is in black only because not necessarily all of us have color pencil. We may have a blue, black, and red. That's it. We don't necessarily. Keep different kinds of color pens or pencils. Okay. Now here, I'm going to just make the center portion and. So what did I do? So some of you who have been attending the mandala classes mine or somewhere else you know that these different shapes that we use they're basically the geometrical shapes right from the dot the circle the line triangle and semi circle square so these uh, this uh, what do you call the shapes and uh, size of course but shape if you see each of them have meaning mandala as you know it is a sanskrit word for circle 
and in the circle there are various patterns designed so in the good old days people on the rock they used to make mandalas in the temples if you go when you go on your different tours in the um, uh, different uh, old temples traditional temples hundreds of years ago so on the ceiling on the walls you will see these kind of shapes and sides so they were mandalas and now they are all using it as a mandala pyramid so when it's a dot it signifies everything is one you just put a dot everything now dot supposing i'm going to put a dot here so this dot actually signifies this symbol of the unmanifested all is one everything is one when you're making a circle circle means unity integrity the wholeness wholesomeness of anything that you do then we have these horizontal lines vertical lines we will be making some designs so uh that's actually they say the when we made a circle and we said okay divided by a straight line horizontal and vertical line it says that you are dividing the earth and the sky and the maternal energy the vertical horizontal line is the uh, not dividing the earth and the sky and when you are making the vertical line it is actually connection between uh, the world and the energy and divide the right from the left we we make these cross lines make for the portions uh, that is when we get the center point that when we make the vertical horizontal and the cross line we meet and form a center which is actually the recognition and when we are making triangles the upper triangles or the downward triangles it, it denotes when it's an upper triangle it denotes that aspiring energy is pointing upward uh in the direction of the spiritual sphere and when in the because of the design sometimes you make the inverted triangle and the pointed point of the triangle is downward so you are actually aspiring uh towards the material sphere or earthly sphere when it's pointed upwards it is towards the spiritual space and similarly most of the other uh patterns actually are derived from nothing but the squares and the triangles dot and circles so these are the patterns these are the uh, kind of uh, geometrical designs that we use so anything if you see whatever you are using in your design is ultimately either a triangle then you are making these leaves pointed leaves or round leaf elongated leaf or ear drop something like that so you will just go on making your pattern on the outer side let me go still higher up to see what what is something different i can do i now with the color i don't think you can see my pencil marks and i don't really want to make uh, the pencil marks darker because now when i erase my color will get erased so what i'm going to do is this is my point for the outer of the outer circle okay and i can see it here so let me just make my pattern that's me just getting closer to the inner side normally i say you start from inside out but because this is like like colored and i don't want to lose track of the pencil mark so 
you know as you get old your eyesight also becomes weak so you need to strain your eyes to see okay where are those pencil marks hidden in long things so that's why i thought let me just half right so we will have to make this half also now inside this i can make a pattern i can make a design in that now since now what did i do did you realize when i was making this it had really become there was an extra line there so i decided to make a double line and my design is going to be around the double line so you don't have to bother if you have made a mistake just create something out of that mistake Now, since I did this, I can choose to make the same pattern everywhere else, or I can make it on alternate. So I can maybe I do an alternate space, and I I decide to do something else here. Are you getting me? Because of this base, I now don't need to use any other color pen. my black pen itself is going to do a good job to help highlight the design that i'm making and when you're doing a big job you a big art piece you do this follow the alternate ones i i try to do that sometimes because uh, you don't necessarily i think last time when i showed you the This lady and the skirt. Some of you were there. Do you remember? I I started with one. I left one blank. I started with the second. I left one blank. I did the third one. Because then you can complete one and then come to the next one. So that helps. Here also, if you are doing alternate ones, so if for whatever reason you need to get up to do something else. You know that okay. Let me finish this alternate one, then I'll come back to my pattern again. Is what you can tell yourself. So that's at least I follow that. So you can always, if you don't finish in half an hour, you can always come back to your pattern and design, and maybe you come back with some more ideas, and you decide to do something different. Now remember what we did. We just did two, three, four, five, and then we do one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes we become four or five. So don't worry. It's your mandala. We brought it a little closer. We wanted a less gap here, and we made the circle. I'm happy with this pen of mine because I suddenly found it in one stationery shop, and it was not expensive at all. The other mandala pens, these are like hundred rupees or hundred and twenty rupees. These these set of pens. And these pens, I got a set of. These are a little cheaper. These are a set of five, which I got for hundred rupees. I don't have the full one from there. Then these I got again different colors. These are loose pens with different colors. The uh, you know the fluorescent color, purple, red, and orange and green. So these I picked up handful of them. But these are nice and so. So see, I, I'm liking this pen. I think I'll go and pick up some more pens from the same shop because this came in uh, cheaper also. Now here, I can uh, choose to make a different pattern. Okay, 
and you can leave a gap and then fill in again. Make a design here. I see you all, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you people are making your own mandalas. Are you all making your mandalas as you're listening to me? How many of you are trying it out? I am, Dinda. Very good. Yeah, because sometimes we keep watching and we forget that we also are here to make our own patterns. So, please co-created together. Let's co-create it together. You know, this has got a different shape and this has got a different, it became a little longer. But I'm going to let it be. I'm going to let it be. Or maybe I can just bring it here to match with that. I'm going to take this further ahead to match with that pattern. Because you know what happened? There I realized I came to the center of this point and then the rest of them I left it half. Your mandala, you can do what you like in your pattern. made the pencil mark and it was freehand so it's not really a semicircle. pattern, I felt that it's not looking very neat, 
So I'm just filling it up by making How is your mandala coming up? Are you liking what you're doing? Yes. Very ma'am. relaxing. Wonderful. We see if somebody's Nisha, Abhi kar rahe hai na? Sonia, Aruna. Sonia hasn't connected, I think. Anjana is also here today. Sunita made one nice one. Sunita, you all are making, I hope. This I will make later on. Yes, yes. We have time, so you can continue to make your patterns. I joined late this, uh, you have uh, colored this paper. Yeah, so what I did was I just used these wax. Okay, okay. And just wax pastel colors and use it and then just so that it gets highlighted. Yeah, or you can just nice. use a black and white uh, black uh, with on a white background and then if you have color pens, you can color it also if you want to color, but simply black looks beautiful also. Binda Mom, your video went off. Oh. Is it back? That's yeah. Okay. I think that is a phone device if somebody is trying to call me maybe. Hands. Now I can choose to keep my paper this way or this way and keep making my design. I just am feeling a little excited about my pattern. So work on one piece now. Did you see I, I tried alternate one? Now I'm, I'm making some design and I tried to fi work to fill up, but I left one in between. Because when I'm doing it alternate, it's looking still nice. But if I had to start doing it very close, it would have looked a little shabby maybe. So these are the things, it just comes in your mind as you are making your design. So what I got to do now because of that alternate one. So in every design that you're making, you yourself get further decorated. See how beautiful that is. I'm liking it. I don't know about you people. I'm feeling good to see that. By here, I will make a line on the outer side. These are pointed petals and
move further further now supposing i am making the design again like the composer i can also choose to start nothing from here now i still have to cover up a lot in this area also remember i said circles and dots So I leave a gap here, and I do the same pattern. Tapering it down to the smaller size. There is no set pattern as such. We are just making as we move around, as we move forward. So, isn't life the same that we tend to take charge of our life? With sometimes all good things happen with us. There are times when we are faced with challenges. It could be. health related challenges it could be relationship related challenges if we just sit back thinking and brooding about what life has brought us thinking and brooding about what then we will be full of stress anxiety so like in this mandala design we have a paper we have a pen in our hand and we are just letting our creative mind our right side of the brain take charge of this time this space the energy that we are filled up with because all this is yours ours right nobody else has control on that i have the control so i can decide whether i want to sit in one corner and brood about what a friend of mine told me and i didn't like about that i didn't like her for that or i just say okay she said it it's all right she's gone away i don't have to sit thinking about what she said and why she said let me just pick up a paper and pen and do my mandala design so when you're doing this design you're totally engrossed creating your design and you've forgotten about that friend or the your near and dear one who said something to you and you were unhappy about that or if there is a pain that is bothering you and when you're sitting you don't have much to do all your attention and concentration is taken away by that pain why because there's absolutely nothing else that you can think of your mind is idle and when your mind is idle it goes to things of things that you really don't want to be thinking of so mandala is a beautiful creative way of 
spending your time it also helps improve your concentration with age we all know that our gray cells in our brain start degenerating and there are exercises that we need to do and one of them is using your mind now here what why are what kind of mind are you using when you are making this alternate now this i am i'm just leaving one and make, highlighting the other one so i'm using my mind i'm focusing on what i'm doing i'm not just going on doing for the sake of doing and noticing that this is the shape i'm giving it to the pencil and i'm leaving one alternate design in between and going to the next so i'm using my brain and as we get older we all acknowledge we do realize that there's not so much or as much to do as we used to do earlier in the past so it really really helps to our concentration it helps improve our focus with age there are times we lose focus if we are talking on a particular topic we are working on a particular job at home when i say job it could be you know clearing your laundry or doing something in the kitchen and suddenly something else happens and you lose focus and you shift your focus from that to something else so these kind of exercises help you now see when i'm making this design just keep shifting the paper otherwise the design the pattern will not come in straight line you have to keep moving the paper 2 3 four, and the fifth one is just here 2 and 3 4 what happened again yes ma'am on last 5 minutes so see these are the kind of patterns you can make yes ma'am you just have to create your own pattern then i'm sure all of you who are doing something but that you have at home in the class whatever you are doing you are liking it now we couldn't do much i couldn't do much today because actually i i talk about my uh, previous uh, art also and purposely that day i was showing someone with the this crayon color and i purposely left there and i today made this black marks on that so that this is also looking so pretty can you see this her pattern is looking nice so if you are making this kind of skirt you can actually do the color and then make it with the black on top it looks very very pretty so i was showing this then i also showed uh, some of those who wanted to do on a circle i showed you all the circle so it took a little extra time but i'll try and see if i can finish this i have my doubts whether i'll be able to finish this today because i have something else to complete but when i finish i shall post it on the facebook okay so uh, my dear uh, we have got one question from aruna ma'am that uh, yes, which sir, brand ma pen uh, we are using sorry uh, which brand pens uh, you are using Okay, this one I was I was telling Aruna. I think you didn't hear me. Uh, this is a Bauke pen, Bauke B A O K. I just happened to pick it up from one of the stationery shops, and I like it because it's not expensive also, and uh, it's see it's flowing very well. And I'm going to grab some more of these pens from his shop. But otherwise, the branded pens are these are the uh, Micron pens, which is uh, Faber Castell. Faber Castell pens you will get, and uh, this is the uh, what is it? Uh, Fine line ink pens. If you ask them for Mandala pen, 
fine line ink pen, these are the kind of zero, this is zero eight and this is zero seven. So the lower the number, the thicker it is, okay? And, then, you. Yeah. and these are the color, these are again fine, li fine liner color pen. Again, these are not uh, really a branded one. They were just from a stationery shop and again, not very expensive, so I, I, I picked up um, a whole Yes, ma'am. Micron pen I have, ma'am. That black one, I don't. This one, no? Yeah, black one, black yeah, one. Yeah, this is nice. I was, I think I hit, I, I, I was lucky to grab this from that shop. But otherwise, just use this ordinary pens that we are using. Okay, ma'am. And, and you can also use the fountain pen. No, okay, this is, okay yeah. this is cello. I got this cello pen also. Cello, cello, okay. cello pen you can get. So these are cello pen. And I can use I'm using the fountain pen also. Like you know, you can actually yes, ma'am. Okay, ma thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, everyone. And uh, yeah, okay. we can come back on the uh, previous slide. So Complete your uh, mandalas because you will love it, what you're doing. You can, change, you can remove the spotlight. Yeah. So all of you, those who are uh, doing it along with me, those who are doing it, I'm sure you people, it's not the same thing what you're doing, what uh, I was doing, you will be doing something or the other. It's a beautiful therapy to do on your own. Hi, Asha, Sonia, Manju, Dua, Ziyar, Suman. Suman is there for after a long time. And uh, I, I yeah, Bridget, do you have a question? I show you my mandala. I did the half mandala and I colored it. Huh. Sure. And then I also did this earlier this week. Oh, and wow, that's a beautiful one. I just, uh, oh, that's a pretty one, very pretty. It's a scared, <laughs> he's scared, see his eyes. Ah, yeah. So Bridget is also very, very creative and she has a whole lot of um, artwork. She keeps doing a lot of artwork. Hi, Asha, I hope you're also doing something. Thank uh -huh. you. I, I was just engrossed in watching you doing such a ah, okay. passion and relating it to philosophy of life and societies. Like, I love that part. Yeah. How you related to the life and its philosophy and challenges. Yes. That was a cherry on the cake for me. Like, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone, for being here. And uh, Monica, thanks for your support. Take good mm -hmm. care of yourself, everyone. And I'll see you again next week sometime. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.